Well, back on this worm bin again. I finally got the top laid out, nailed, uh, and finished. So basically all I got to do here is put my bins up here. Now, what I'm going to do now, well, right now is get my air gun out of the way. Couldn't do it without some air gun. A hammer would work, but Lord, it'd be a lot of work. Now, I'm going to hang this bin up here. Out of my way. When I need it, I'll drop it down and run my castings right there. That's my battle plan. So, next thing I'm going to do is hang this bin up. And then I'm going to start prepping the worm bin. The worm bed for the worms. Okay, here's the procedure on how I do my worm birds. See the leaves? They're in a craftsman yard rake. Hook to my lawnmower. I don't do this in the sheds too much dust. See my weed eater? I get out in the yard and I pulverize those leaves. You see the size of this bin? How many leaves are in it? Okay. This is three of the bins. See how they cut and chopped? They're not perfectly mulperized, but they are really beat down, compacted. That's part of my feed. That with my peat moss and my coffee grounds and my shredded paper. Now I'm going to set up and show you how I mix that worm food. I had to show you this. This is how I spread my papers. Uh, I bought this little Joe ten dollars garage sale six eight years ago, and he's been going strong ever since. This paper is a, a, a bedding for the worms, and they will eat the paper as it as it deteriorates over a period of time. This paper will disappear amazingly fast. I wish I had a nickel ever pound of paper, newspaper, that I put in that worm bin. Now to start with, the worm bin, the worm food needs to be damp. Not soaking wet, but not dry either. So what I do to start with, I take my water, I put a little water in here. You want to kind of dampen your food, or your bedding before you put it in there. If you don't, you'll be weak trying to let these dry leaves and paper and peat all soak up water. You, you're, it's too hard to get it right. Now, I showed you my crafting. I showed you my leaves. All right, this goes in there as is. And tell me that's not dry. That's dry. Now, but it's going to take a while to get it right. If you see what I'm doing, uh, I set it down in this water, let it soak a while, then I'll go, I'll add that to my bin. And then I'll go back, get my peat moss in here and get it to soak a while. I'll add my coffee grounds and my uh, paper. Now, the trick to that paper. If you just grab a handful of it, just grab a big handful of it, look, and throw it in here, you're going to have a clump, a wet clump. Come back six weeks from now, it's still going to be a wet clump. So as you go along mixing, I'll get these leaves mixed and get them in the bin. Then I'll come back to the peat moss, the coffee grounds, the paper, and mix it real good. Then I'll throw it in the bin and kind of get, get it combined. The worms will do the rest. They'll take care of it, believe me. Now the next thing I do is put a layer of cardboard in the bottom and wet it down with my spray gun. Now, the red regulars like dampness, but you don't want them to go deep. You want them to put light coatings of water on top uh, every day or so. That'll make them come up to the food, not go down. Now, what, the reason I use this type of cardboard, notice the corrugations. Come back in about three or four weeks, there'll be worms all up in the corrugation. They love it. I don't know if it's the glue or what, but they love it. Now, this type 
cardboard. You notice how thin it is? So what I'll do with that is put it on top. I do not put it in the bottom. I can and will if I don't have anything else. Now I'm fixed to dump my first load of wet leaves over in the bin and spread them out, make a layer on the bottom. Then I'll go back and do the rest of the leaves, my peat moss, my coffee grounds, and my paper, and I'll mix it up real good. Come back and put on top of this layer I'm fixing to put in here right now. Hard to work one-handed. So here's the remainder of my uh, leaves and grass. So now I'm going after the coffee grounds. These are our coffee grounds that we use in the house. We save them. And I'm look, I use filters and all. Believe me. When they get through it, when, when they get on those filters, they'll eat them. That won't last long at all. Now the next thing I do is bring my paper over here. Okay. People, the paper is a byproduct of timber, trees, plants. It makes it it makes uh, a good bedding. And the uh, worms love it. It, 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 it. It'll take it out there and nothing for that. Uh, now what you do, you don't just dump in a paper in here. Because it'll make clumps like who'd have thought it. So you just take mix, shake a little out, mix it, and continue on till the paper is gone. Then, you come back with the peat moss on top of that. On top of that. Mix it up good, dampen it good, and put okay. it in. Finally, got all my speed and worms in the bin. Got my uh, sifter hanging. With, uh oh, trying to do this. Uh, my sifter's hanging up out the way. I can work in my bin. Whenever I need it, I just drop it. Up top, I got my work, my bin set up for my breeding. My put my eggs in there and breed them out. So I got everything ready to go. Uh, I had a lot of worms and eggs. This thing ought to explode now. Now what I'm gonna do, take this extremely thin plywood, uh, stick cardboard, pardon my jumping and jerking, and you put it in here, all right? If you'll notice, it don't fit. It's got cracks all around it, and that's how it's gonna be. I got some little pieces I'll lay here. That's all these worms need. You cover that bin tight, them worms are coming out of there. You think I'm joking? Cover them and watch them. Put the lid down on your green bin. Put your lid down on your uh, totes. Worms be cracking all up the sides, up on the lid, trying to get out. It's not because they spunky in good shape. They don't like it. They're leaving. Something's wrong. Take the lids off, people. It works. Like and subscribe.